in New York City the last two years. Team USA beating Russia in dual meets right in the middle of Times Square. This year inside Vanderbilt Hall, inside Grand Central Terminal. And that's the setting for this get together. Again, the US will meet Russia again later. Right now, the US and Iran here in this dual meet between these two powers in international wrestling. The United States freestyle team will go toe to toe with Iran. Uh, the U.S. Russia dual meet will also feature some women's freestyle wrestling and some Greco Roman wrestling later on. But right now, the U.S. and Iran, and this is a bit of a rematch from the World Cup, which was held in Tehran in Iran back in February. Iran won the title, beating both the U.S. and Russia. Our first match up here 55 kilograms, 121 pounds. Obi Blanc of the United States against Hassan Rahimi of Iran. You have two real good wrestlers, Obi. A little bit younger, a little bit less experienced, but you know, I, I think you can see the, the singlets are new, and there's so many things about wrestling that they're trying to improve, and I think uh, you know, they're, they're looking back at, at national pride and showing the world that uh, the countries that are represented by themselves, you know, it means something to them to wear that flag on the back and the front. You know, traditionally, as you mentioned, the singlets, they would be a solid color, but now utilizing the entire color scheme here for the United States and Iran's Sparkling as well as we get set for this initial bout in the dual meet. There'll be seven matches here. Yeah, various weight classes as we go along. Best two out of three two-minute periods right now. That's the current format in international wrestling. And that may be one of the things that is up for a possible debate later on down the line and the possible rule changes that Jimmy Roberts touched on at the top of the telecast. We're underway here, period one. Blanc in the Stars and Stripes, Rahimi of Iran in red. And you're going to hear the, the fans, the, 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 the Iranians, they love their sports, they love their wrestling. The Persians have always been good at uh, wrestling, and this is their opportunity to come here to America and show you know, the dominance that they have in uh, you know, the sport of wrestling year in and year out. Obi Blanc. Living in Stillwater, Oklahoma, originally from Naples, Florida. Wrestled in college at both Rock Haven in Pennsylvania and Oklahoma State. Won his second U.S. Open title last month to go along with a title in that event in 2010. And as you might expect here in the United States, the USA chance beginning early here in the first period of this 55-kilogram match. Hassan controlling the center of the mat. In a sport of wrestling, you want to control the center of the mat and actually you know, get your opponent to the edge of the mat to make him make a mistake. And that's where Obi's kind of backing up a little bit. You don't want to put yourself in a situation because if you do get pushed out of bounds, it's a one point and a caution. So, you know, the opportunity, the referees officially warning them from uh, grabbing the fingers. They want to see action and, and not uh, stall. And again, they go back to the fingers. And that's always been an issue in the last 10, 15 years is grabbing fingers. The ref may warn them again. It's the same issue that happens over and over. Some people use it to slow their opponent down. Some people use it to actually create offense off that. Approaching the final 30 seconds of this opening period, Rahimi looking to get in on Blanc. He'll be in denial mode for the moment. Good low level being able to change it. Now, the, the yellow zone into the red. If you push him out into the blue, it's a potential push out opportunity. Blanc looking to turn him and get the push out, and he does pick up the point. That's a one-point push out because you take your opponent you know, from the yellow through the red into the blue. Great, you know, Obi had the opportunity to get pushed out. He turned the favor around and then drove Hassan out of bounds for the one point. Blanc hoping to make this stand up here. Final 10 seconds of the period. Great, you know, early scoring in that first period. That was just a phenomenal tactical move. On the edge, time expires, no points. Period one goes to Obi Block. Scramble scenario in the final 10 seconds. The Iranian not able to score, but Blanc did on the push out, and that's enough to take the first period win. Obi's getting in a position where he's going to get pushed out. He turns the favor, slides it by, and then changes off into a low-level single, drives it out for the one point. That's just good technical, good coached wrestling. And you have the best coaches on both sides, from the Iranians all the way to the Americans, and it's just very good technical wrestling. You look at Zeke Jones, the United States freestyle national team coach, a former Olympic silver medalist in his own right, led the squad in London. And I'll continue to lead them in this off-year cycle. And through the current 
gauntlet of emotions as wrestling tries to work its way back into the Olympic picture for 2020 and beyond. Period number two, again, they wipe the scores clean. It's a lot like match play in golf where you lose a hole and you start anew on the next hole. Here you lose the first period, and Rahimi now needs to win the next two periods to win the match. Blanc only needs to win one of the next two two-minute periods. And you hate to push it into a third period. So if you win the first one, you want to continue that momentum. But so many times, you know, using more than 50%, you see guys just kind of lose that momentum in that third period. You know, it, it could be a it could be a guessing game of which you know athlete you know is going to step up in that third and final period. Rahimi was eighth at the London Games last summer. Blanc did not qualify. Ended up third at the U.S. Olympic Trials. Does have world experience. Finished ninth at the 2010 World Championships, and now with his win at the U.S. Open, he advances right to the finals of the World Team Trials coming up next month, which will set the World Championship team for the United States. Again, the referee is, is asking them to clear their hands. You know, don't impede the action because a lot of times you can actually break fingers. And if you look at Obi's fingers, they're actually you know taped to not allow it to bend too far. And so it's all about preventative and all about you know slowing your opponent down or you know taking that advantage. Blanc thinking about a move. Rahimi in a response. No points yet here. Final 30 seconds of the period coming up. And so much of it's posturing, you know, making an attempt, you know, get your opponent to react. Right there, Hassan actually pulled uh, Obe down. No score. Now an opportunity for Hassan to change the level, to find an egg, or get underneath them and, and shoot a high crotch or a double egg. Those are the effective styles. Opportunity to score. And Rahimi finally able to pull it off. Gets the point for the takedown to take the lead here in the second. And looks like he's done enough to send us to a third period. Just very aggressive action, you know, continuing to put that pressure. And, and you can see, you know, Obi's walking back to the to the middle onto the side, really tired. And, you know, it, it, that affects you in that third and final period, knowing that, you know, you have one more period to go. Even though it's a short match, you know, you have to be really smart about the energy that you expend. And Rahimi biding his time, waiting for the right opportunity. Uh, Obi. Just, you know, be willing to give up the one point or, or, or not getting beat, you know, by 3-0 instead of we got beat 1-0. So each wrestler with a period win to his credit. The third a decisive period to decide the victor here at 55 kilograms. And like you had said earlier uh, in the second period, you know, these guys, you know, this is like an off year. So it's not really, you know, the year that a lot of guys come back. Because you have guys that will retire for a year or two. You know, do some other things, you know, get their career in order, and then they'll come back and try to make the Olympic team. And so that's why Obi, you know, is, is now in his second year. You know, it's been three years since he won his first national title, and now three years later he gets a second one. And this could be, kind of be a stepping stone for him to, you know, get into the, you know, the next Olympic cycle. Blanc taking a shot here early in the third, and Rahimi with solid defense. That's where Hassan Rahimi has the ability to change the level, make it tough for your opponent. You know, you may not be able to defend 100%, but as long as you are able to keep him off you and keep that attack off you, it's so hard to score, even if you're a great technician, to get underneath. You know, that's why it just takes every ounce of, you know, setup, every ounce of perspective. Again, the referee's warning him, saying, come on, guys, let's keep this action going. You know, let's don't sit here and hold on to hands. Let's, you know, create action, create wrestling. Obi Blanc of the United States in blue, Hasim Rahimi of Iran in red. And winner of this period wins the match. Rahimi able to get a single, turn his man, and pick up the point. Great low-level single-leg attack. You know, that's where Hasim, you know, Hassan was very patient about it. That could be two, that's two! And then two back for the Iranian wrestler. So it could be, depending on it, it could be one point takedown, two point hold, and then a one point turn. So it could be two to two. Well, the initial signal was two either way. And the United States may throw in the challenge brick. There is replay in international wrestling. Zeke Jones tossing it in. And they will go to video to try to figure out the proper points. And what they're interpreting, it's a one-point takedown. 
you know, a switch high crotch uh, single leg for the t one point takedown. And now this is where Hassan, all he had to do was relax, but he wanted a little bit more. Kind of, you know, send off the, the match and finish it off. So he goes for a gut wrench, and this is where Obi kind of baits him. He, he actually grabs a leg, that's legal, holds him for two. But now the question is, he didn't go to elbow. So it should be a one point takedown, a two point hold, and then a one point turn. If you go hand to hand, it can't be a two point turn. Even though it's a reversal, it should only be a one point turn. So it all depends on how they, you know, the officials interpret it. Again, the two points for the exposure. And as we look at it. And that would have been enough for the victory right there. But this is where you know, Rahimi gets a little bit greedy, goes for a little bit more, he wants to score that extra two points, goes for the turn, and gets held on his back there. So now it would be two to one, but then they finish it off with the one point. Well, they've upheld the appeal, so the point's taken off the board, so Blanc here just needs to hang on in the final few minutes of the period, but he gives up the point. Point to Rahimi, and it's 2-2. Two -two. But now this is where it comes into play, because, you know, who scored, you know, the biggest points? On the edge, they give up two more there to Rahimi. He knew he needed points, and Rahimi takes the lead. The U.S. will bring in the challenge brick again, and thrown out right away by the official. Again, if single points are scored in a period, it's the wrestler that scored last when it's tied that would win. But Rahimi, knowing that Blanc had had a multiple point move in the period, knew with the score tied and time winding down, he needed more points to win. Yep, and what they're trying to say is that Obi's head went out of bounds. As long as his head goes out of bounds before he gets turned, they are officially out. The question is, is does his forehead hit the mat right there? It could be stopped. They're out of bounds. And the judges on the side reviewing it, they uphold the points. And with five seconds left, Blanc needs a throw of some kind or multiple points to survive. Does not. And Hassan Rahimi of Iran strikes first for his country in this dual meet with the U.S. And that comes down to confidence. And that's where Rahimi has it.